They say a picture is worth a thousand words. Well, this picture and the story of Vidal Chastanet are worth more than a million. Three weeks ago, 13-year-old Vidal was stopped on the street by a photographer who posts stories about people he meets in a blog called Humans of New York. So, at first you're kind of thinking like, wow, this dude has a lot of... Uh... Guts to be walking around here asking people to in if he can interview them. Um, so, I respected that, you know. Nah, I agreed to be interviewed. The blogger, Brandon Stanton, asked Vidal one question. Who inspires you the most? And it wasn't a famous athlete or celebrity. Instead, Vidal said, My principal, Miss Lopez. When we get in trouble, she doesn't suspend us. She calls us to her office and explains to us how society was built down around us. And she tells us that each time somebody fails out of school, a new jail cell gets built. At one time, she made every student stand up one at a time, and she told each one of us that we matter. We have people already in place. Miss Lopez, that is, Principal Nadia Lopez, started Mott Hall Bridges Academy five years ago after she saw how many kids were not reaching their full potential in a neighborhood full of crime and poverty, Brownsville, New York. I think the beauty behind Brownsville is that they have a story, and they have a story of resilience, and oftentimes people don't see that and they're always looking at the negative before they see what's positive about this community. Little did Vidal and his principal know, that photograph and Vidal's answer inspired people around the world. And that one picture changed everything. The shot of Vidal went viral, and now there's over one million likes on Facebook. And that picture also changed the lives of students here at Mott Hall Bridges Academy. Now they have the opportunity to go and see Harvard. Principal Lopez and the Humans of New York blogger teamed up to create a fundraiser for her students to take a trip to the prestigious Ivy League school. I wanted them to be able to see beyond just New York City. I wanted them to be able to know that they can aspire to be great individuals. So whatever you decide to choose at the end, you can have that choice. But they need to have options. And they have a lot of options now raising over $1.4 million, enough to sponsor Harvard visits for the next 10 years and a scholarship fund for the students. I think it's inspiring because like, maybe I could go to Harvard one day. I feel like if I actually go to Harvard, then I know I could have a chance to actually attend that school when I get older. I want them to just know that you could put your feet on the ground of Harvard and know you belong, just like if you went to Howard, you know you belong. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Their story even earned them a trip to the White House. You don't do things alone. No, you never do. Nobody does things alone. You Everybody do. always needs support. After this experience, what's some advice you'd give to younger kids living in the Brownsville area? Whatever you want to do, don't let anybody tell you that you cannot do it. And if they do, let that be a positive effect so you can prove them wrong and work harder to what you want to do. One picture that became the opportunity of a lifetime. Ariel Hickson, Channel One News.